Testicles are sore because they're too loud. Yo. I swear I have this playlist on um Randomized and it still plays the song every fucking time. What's up, Myth? That sound alert is actually the voice of Resident Steve in the chat. I don't think he's here right now. Greatest horse play of all time. What's up, Steve? Speak of the devil himself. How are you, how are your testicles? Now, okay. Uh, we got some fun shit today. Some fun crimbo shit. Um, Mary Chrysler. <laughs> um, so let's get. They are too large. Very, very large. Um, okay, I need to try and coordinate myself here. So if you can give me a second. So we're going to play some uh, some more Metal Gear. Or should I say, Merry Gear. Solid. Uh, so I found a couple of um, Christmas-themed Metal Gear games. 
on the interwebs and uh, I thought, fuck it, I've been playing Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 all month. Let's end with some uh, some festive shit. So, while well, that's uh, finished there, uh, I lost my media player. Stop that. Lovely. So, let's get on this right now. Okay. Check this out. I hope this works. Oh, I need to put the sound on. Here we go. Now, let me know if this is too loud. Oh my fuck, it's loud for me. How's the sound there? Wow, yes. <laughs> Not too loud, no? What the fuck? I know. I know. I played about three seconds of this and I thought, fuck yes. Very festive. Hello, uh, Venus. Sound is fine. Grand. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna deep dive right into this. So yeah, I played about, um, I played about 30 seconds of this and I thought, this will be good. It's gonna be perfect. So we're gonna discover this together. Join me in this uh, festive celebration of uh, Snake. Okay. Now, I don't know the control, so this is all keyboard, so... Let's see. Let me see. Uh, select the window there. Oh, here we go. That is fantastic. So shift. Shift is items. I fucking love this music. Nick, it's been a long time. Tiny Tim. Oh, they stopped calling me that 20 years ago. Just Tim will do. 20 years. Yes, it's been 20 years since the Ebenezer Eve incident. The world has changed since then. Military surveillance crafts have been circling the skies in a response to the 9-11 attack six years ago. That's why it's far too risky to let you deliver the presents the traditional way. The traditional way? We can't risk having you spotted soaring through the sky on a sleigh. With the nation on high alert as it is, there's far too great of a chance you'll be branded a national threat. So that's why I'll be delivering gifts by foot, I presume. Precisely. <laughs> this is a top-secret covert mission. From this point on, we'll be referring to each other by code names. My code name will be Major Tim. And yours, Nick, will be Solid Santa. Solid Santa? Solid Santa. A nice ring to yes. You. So what's the mission? Your mission is to infiltrate this house and to deliver the presents you've got in your sack to the Christmas tree, located on the topmost floor. Sounds easy. It's not as easy as it sounds. Most people are asleep at this hour, but a couple of naughty, naughty children might be wandering around trying to get a peek of their presents before morning. <laughs> so I get to throw coal at them, right? No. This is, above everything else, a stealth mission. You must not be discovered or the mission will be a failure. Do whatever it takes to stay out of the enemy's field of vision. To make things easier, you'll need to make use of any tools you find in the house. I'll be giving you advice and instructions via codec. My frequency is 012.25. All right. Commencing operations. 012.25, December 25th. Fantastic. I fucking love it. <laughs> Are these just flash games? Uh, no, they're downloadable. Uh, I just searched, basically, uh, Metal Gear Christmas games, and uh, they popped up. They've nailed Snake asking questions based on the last two words he heard, yes! It sounds like uh, that one mission in GTA San Andreas. Oh, baby. Okay, let's go. We have to deliver presents and uh, avoid sneaky children. Okay. Now, it, the text was cut off on the left there a little bit. That's cut off for me as well. That's not me cropping the sc uh, Major, screen wrong. I've made it into the house. Yeah, it looks clear. I'm just gonna run for it. Everybody's gotta be asleep. Santa, wait. You want to make sure you aren't running into a trap. Walk up to a wall and press the arrow key towards it. You should start to hug the wall. By hugging the wall, you can Metal see what's gear. up ahead. Hugging gear. walls. What is this? <laughs> Happy Funland? 
Okay, I can hug the walls and. Santa Claus! Oh. Mommy, does that exist? Oh. Santa Claus! <laughs> I fucked it already. Well, there we go. There's our. There's our sneaky run. Okay. Ah, I see, right. So, okay, I'm not sure if there's any other controls I should be aware of. What a wonderful field of vision. <laughs> no! Ah! Bobby, why aren't there any presents under the tree? Santa Claus? Santa Claus! <laughs> the fuck? No, no! Oof. Oh. That were close. Santa Claus! Oh, come off it! Mommy, does that exist? No! Santa Claus! Ah! Alright, fuck, alright. Santa, press the control key to knock out the enemy. <laughs> beating up kids. Yes. Alright, I'll try not to be shit. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm looking at the wrong screen. I'm looking at Twitch Studio. I should be looking at the... actual game. I think I fucked it. Uh. Oh, I see. When he gets to the end of the... He turns around. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to sneak around. Nice. Oh, I can knock! Oh, that's fantastic. Santa, sneak up behind and work the neck until the screaming stops. <laughs> Why are there so many, so many kids in this house? Oh my god. Nice. What's wrong? There's a guy blocking a really narrow hallway, and it's so annoying because I can't get past him. What am I supposed to do? The parents got this busy. <laughs> oh, relax. Try distracting him by making a noise. Hug a wall and press the control key. The kid will investigate the control. sound, so try to slip past him while he's not looking. The old switcheroo. The old switcheroo. That kind of trick only works on five-year-olds. Santa, <laughs> the first rule of the battlefield is to know your enemy. Only then can you fully understand how to overcome it. What are you trying to say? That the trick will work because they are five-year-olds. Oh, right. <laughs> Whoever made this game really knows their Metal Gear. I will say that. So many kids. The parents must be at it like Otakon in a comic. <laughs> oh, here you go. What was that? Nice. Now this one's impossible. I know there's no easy way past this one. Santa, did you already forget about your Christmas spirit? My what now? Your Christmas spirit. It's like telekinesis, except a lot less useful because it's limited to turning on televisions. Wait, what? Simply that you possess the power to turn on a television just by thinking it. To do this, move your mouse cursor over any television set on the map. You can turn it on by clicking Mouse cursor, okay. Any children with an earshot of the television will automatically turn towards it. Nothing can resist the magnetic pull of the television screen. This is amazing. There's gotta be a catch. Well, the thing is, you can't turn them off. 
A five-year-old child has the attention span of a goldfish, and unless you can change what's happening on screen, he'll lose interest in a couple of seconds. And I'm guessing I can't change channels, huh? Afraid not. What a useless power. Okay. I wonder if you can hide under a cardboard box. There has to be a box. And it has to be wrapped like a present. That has to be it. Hold on. I would assume I could just knock here, but he wants me to turn the TV on. Okay, let's find out what's going to go down. Oh! Oh, he just turned... I thought he was, I thought he was going to go to the TV. Fuck. Alright, let's try this again. Beautiful. Oh! I need to do the... I need to use the TV on this dude. Okay. So, first one I knock. First one I knock. Okay, hold on. I got this. I got this. I've just completed Metal Gear Solid 3. I've got this. Uh, knock. What was that noise? Okay, okay. Yes! Nice. <laughs> oh! Gift. Gift obtained. Santa, it looks like you found a new item. Yeah, but it's just a gift box. I got plenty of those in my sack. Oh, that's no ordinary gift box. What do you mean? That gift box has air holes. Air holes. Yes. That gift box was specially designed for wearing. Wearing. Yes. By holding the shift key, you can access the inventory. From the inventory, select the gift box item to put it on. Once you've equipped an item, you can tap the shift key to quickly put away or take out the item. What good is wearing a gift box on my head gonna do? It's a disguise. As long as you're not moving, you'll look like an ordinary gift box so the children won't take notice of you. Wait. Aren't children attracted to gift boxes? Well, that particular gift box is this is the Neverland bombs. Ranch? It's full of bombs? If you believe it is, <laughs> would you approach it? No. Then yes, it's full of bombs. That doesn't make any sense. Don't worry about it. They're five-year-olds. They'll believe anything. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Nice. Santa Claus. Ah, crap. Bobby, why are there any presents under the tree? Santa Claus? Santa too early. Claus! That voice is awful. Okay. Santa Fuck. Claus? Santa Claus! Yes. <laughs> nice. Oh man. Oh stop, stop. Oh, oh the stealth. Jeez, how many kids though? I know. <laughs> oh, what's this now? see any alarm systems here, so I don't believe a single thing you're saying, either. If you can only believe in the things that you can see, you're gonna be a very unhappy man. What do you mean? Well, can you see gravity? No, but... Well, if you can't see gravity, you wouldn't believe in it. And if you don't believe in it, you'd be floating around. But you're not. And since you don't believe in it, but you're not floating, you're just being a hypocrite. And nobody likes hypocrites. So nobody's gonna like you. And that's why you're gonna be a very unhappy man. I guess you're right. Okay, 
I believe you. Good. This alarm system is set to go off if you touch its infrared laser beam. Uh -huh. The beam is invisible to the human eye. So how am I supposed to get past it? I'll let you figure that out by yourself. For someone named Santa's little helper, you sure don't help that much. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, wait, now this looks Michael like Michael Jackson's Moonwalker game on Mega Drive had less children per screen than this. <laughs> uh, wait, this looks like the old, uh, the OG Metal Gear all of a sudden. Uh, it does. Uh, okay, I guess I've got to get that box over there. I'm guessing that's a laser, that um that yellow panel thing. Candy cane. Santa, it looks like you found a candy cane. Yeah. But what's so special about a candy cane? That's no ordinary candy cane. Read the wrapper. Seize candies. That's right. That particular candy cane is a Seize Candies brand candy cane. Since it's from Seize Candies, naturally it will help you see. What? Didn't someone warn you of a laser security system that was invisible to the human eye? You're telling me that eating this candy will help me see those lasers? Only if you believe it can. What's <laughs> all this baloney about believing? What if I don't believe? Well, then this entire mission will have been for nothing. What? Santa, the most important thing about Christmas is believing. You cannot- I don't have time for this. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you, Tim. Okay. Candy came from C's candies. It helps you see things you wouldn't. Ah, okay, right. You can see the lasers there. Nice. Do, 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 do. I love the little Metal Gear Sting there in the, in the tune. Operation Intrude N313 vibes. <laughs> oh, wrong one. Nice. Oh, we got this, man. Look at the smoke coming out of the candy cane. <laughs> Amazing. Look, a lump of coal. Some kid is going to be very upset in the morning. Did you just step in a pile of coals? Yeah. Why? You're going to leave behind footprints. <laughs> Whose footprints are these? Step on the coals anyway. Giving out coals is my job. I'm the only one that's allowed to make children cry on Christmas. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'd better get out of there and fast. The children will follow your footsteps. Wait. Now the children are going to try and steal my job? I said follow your footsteps, not follow in your footsteps, you idiot. You're getting a lump of coal this Christmas. <laughs> okay. Uh, so there's lasers. Let me get my candy cane. Huh? Who was that? Nobody. Ah! Who's the footprints of these? Doo -doo. Who are you, Krampus? Oh, come on! That's a ridiculous cone of vision. That's not realistic at all. Bam. Oh, where's my king? Ah! for him to come around the corner. Nice. We have a TV. Look at that. Nice. D camera. Sweet. Santa, it looks like you found a nice digital camera. What good is a digital camera on a stealth machine? 
Well, you can use the flash as a distraction. That's brilliant. How do you come up with this stuff? When I get bored, I think of ways to annoy children. Really? <laughs> no. no. But how am I supposed to take photos of them without being seen? That camera is equipped with a remote control that can activate it from anywhere in the same area. Press the control key to place the camera. Once it's set, press the control key again to set off the flash. This will blind anyone within sight of the flash. However, you can only use the camera six times in one area. Why? Film. Oh, gotcha. Keep in mind that if a guard digital, a digital camera, camera, though, he will go in Film. If a guard happens to touch digital camera, it will automatically go off. What are we gonna do with the pictures when the mission is over? I'm sure I can figure something out. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> This is getting dodgy now it with is. the camera yes. and the type of enemies. <laughs> What's this now? Nail gun? Surely not. Sent. It looks like you found a, a nerf, nerf gun. gun. Yeah, but what good is a nerf gun on a stealth mission? Well, it's a specially modified nerf gun with tranquilizer bullets. Yes. Right? Once you have the nerf gun equipped, <laughs> hold the control key. That to sounds aim. sus as fuck. You can change exactly. Your while aiming, and you can see a little further up ahead as well. To fire a dart, let go of the control key. I think we need Keep to in mind that you've got a limited quantity major of uh, Major Tim on a list. Out? Well, your darts get refilled every time you enter a new area. Wait a second. That's completely unrealistic. Are you seriously complaining about realism in a game about Santa Claus? Wait, what are you implying? Nothing. Bye. Okay, so we've got Trank. Trank gun. Uh... Oh, so the uh, right, the camera's like a like a a mine flashbang or something. Nerf gun. Uh, hold con down control to look down the sights and let go of control to fire. Oh my god, we're tranking kids, taking photos of kids, tranking kids. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> How many Christmas? Oh. Bobby, why are there any presents under the tree? Discovered by what? Santa Claus! Santa Claus! What? Sus, yeah. Um. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Oh, wait, do we have lasers? Is that what it is? It, yeah, it's lasers, right. Oh my god. Okay. Is this, uh. Okay, is this where we use the digital camera? Plus control uh, to place on the ground. Press again to take a photo, the camera will automatically go off. Okay. Ah! Okay. Try again. Oh shit, wrong way! No! Oh! Oh, they can't see past the trees. Nice. Ah, oh, fuck off! Bill Miles Duck, what's up, lame? <laughs> Horse who can drive, what's up? What? I know. It's Christmas, it's Metal Gear. The fusion of Metal Gear and Christmas. And this is the result. <laughs> I wonder if Kojima himself has played this. Santa Claus? No, this is solid Santa. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to everybody. Thank you, man. Oh, sh oh fuck. I forgot about that, dude. Oh, my God. That voice is awful. Nice. Oh, 
ho, 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 bitch. <laughs> oh, f- mm. Mommy, does that exist? No, Santa Claus! Did you get something good uh, for your goth wife? <laughs> I figured all my presents uh, out yesterday. I'm very proud. I can't wait to give. Um. <laughs> oh shit! No. I think. this dude. There we go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Lasers there. We have a TV up the top there. Trank, bitch. <laughs> uh, okay, right. I guess... I guess I slap down a camera here. Okay. Oh, f oh, f Motherfucker. I hope all these kids are adopted. Poor mother. <laughs> I wonder what the parents do for work. Maybe they run the Illuminati. <laughs> Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've got to drop a, a digital camera ready. Almost three lads there. All right. this. We got this, man. So we set off the camera. Uh, falls down to the top. How do I get past these two, though? Um, we have a TV. If we set the TV off, though, the both of them will look up. So... Maybe. Maybe. Hold on. What was that? Huh? Who was that? Nobody. 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 Just my imagination. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, fuck. Ah, I fucked it. I fucked it. Ah. Back we go. Back we go. Can you choke him out? I wish. <laughs> Myself. Oh, oh fuck. I, well, ruined that anyway. Oh man.
Oh, fucking fuck. Raging. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how you can get past those kids that- Ah, oh, yeah, me too. What do I have? Uh... Huh. Anybody got any ideas, let me know. Oh, no. Well, that was close. That was very, very close. I hope you have the patience, uh, yeah, patience like, uh, when you face off against the end, Sniper. goodness. Okay, any ideas here? So I can flash those uh, three lads at the top uh, top left there. That sounded dodgy. <laughs> um, Maybe I can drop another digital camera. Hold on. Let me try something. Let me flash there. And drop another camera there. Oh! Oh, fuck the... You pressed the wrong bloody arrow key. Fuck. Bollocks. I was going to knock on the wall to get the other two to come uh, a bit closer and then just uh, use another flash camera. There are lasers there. Yeah, that uh, yellow patch. Not even Metal Gear is this cruel. <laughs> Unless, unless. Oh, oh shit, oh no! Oh, I should have kept going, fuck! I had the right idea, I think. Don't let them play you like a fiddle. <laughs> this is tough. If anyone wants to look up the answer, I don't much care about spoilers. I am fucking high on something right now. If anybody wants to look up the answers, or the strategy, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> Use the TV once to distract. So, uh. Oh! 
Oh, wait. No. Um. What do I have? Shit. I've come camera. Gift. Oh man, I'm I'm stumped. Unless that TV is hold on, maybe that TV will only distract the one guard at the top there. Gad. Fucking gad. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, so hold on, let me try the camera. No, it, they both turn around. Ah, fuck. I can't use the TV now. All right. Where's Santa Claus? Bobby, why aren't there any presents under the tree? Santa Claus? Santa That's fucking Claus! tricky. Try this. Uh, let me. Uh, I've got an idea. I knock there. When he comes out. Who is that? Bam! Oh oh oh! TV. Yes yes. <laughs> nice. We made it to the Christmas tree. Oh baby. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Good. Now get out of there. Are you kidding me? Oh, fuck off. Now I have to do it backwards. Yes, I have to artificially extend playtime somehow. <laughs> oh, wow. Excuse me. I, I don't know what got into me. Uh, anyway, good luck. Bye. Nice. I've got to get out now. Oh, what? What the fuck? I'm moving the gift. Why am I- Oh my god! It's the real snake! And he's got a pistol! USB tactical fitted, uh... With a suppressor. The ideal choice for a stealth mission. Aim it at someone's back and hold them up. <gasps> I'm gonna hold up Santa! Freeze. Freeze. God. Solid snake. Solid snake. But you probably know me better as Santa's little helper. What are you doing? Mm, plot twist. After taking down Big Boss in Outer Heaven, I was sent on a mission to assassinate his twin brother, Big Beard. Big Beard. <laughs> you, see, you were part of the Los Bigotes Perfectos project. The Los Bigotes Perfectos project? Yeah. The Los Bigotes Perfectos project. It was a top-secret project started by Andrew Johnson back in the 19th century. President Johnson was quite displeased with his lack of facial hair, especially after the abundant beard of his predecessor, Abraham Lincoln. 
That's why he started funding research on bioengineering with a perfect beard. The research <laughs> resulted in the birth of twin clones. Los Bigotes Perfectos. One of the twins received the genes for the perfect beard. Genes. And this twin became known as Big Beard. But for Big Beard to be created, there needed to be another twin to whom all the recessive genes were to go. This twin became known as Jack. Because, well, he didn't have Jack. <laughs> Jack eventually became a legendary mercenary, earning the title Big Boss. However, he eventually succumbed to madness and attempted to create a nation of perpetual conflict, which he called Outer Heaven. A couple of years ago, I Slower is deep. Outer Heaven and prevented Big Boss from launching the walking nuclear tank, Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Yeah. Yes, he did it. Metal Gear. It was only after defeating Big Boss that we learned of his twin brother. Me. You. We can't risk having another Big Boss threatening the world with a nuke. That's why I was sent on a mission to find and eliminate you, Big Beard. I see. I'd always wondered why my beard was so perfect and white. I'm sorry, Big Beard. But in order to complete my mission, I must eliminate you. I Metal understand. Gear? It can't be. <laughs> last words. Happy Christmas to all. And to all, a good night. <sighs> oh, baby. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> that was great. GG's. <laughs> Thank you, horse. Oh, we're not done yet. Can my love and emotion Overcome all my doubts and my fears Will you come close and tell me That you'll be here every year after year after year What the fuck? Your stockings are hanging while you're stalking through the night Good Lord. Don't you know that I've been good and I believe you like I should So give me a sign that I'm right <laughs> Your presence is all that I long for in my dreams <laughs> This is fucking hell the sky, a chestless rose on your Make it stop I hear my voice as I scream Joe, I didn't see you next stream. Oh, we're not, we're not yeah. done. Yeah. Yes. I defeated Big Beard and accomplished my mission. We have a twist. No, he wasn't aware that he was the twin brother of the legendary Big Boss. <sighs> yes. I must say, his beard was quite stunning. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. Should he have? No, I I don't seem to recall him having an eye patch. No, no bandana either. You mean to tell me? Impossible. He said his name was Saint Nick. Lennon. I've made a grave mistake. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was wonderful. Shocks fired. So. Ranking mammoth. Nice. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so there we go. That was uh, Merry Gear Solid. That was a bit of fun. We're not done yet, though. We have more festivities to come. I'm going to take a quick break and grab some tea. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm going to play uh, something I found on YouTube. So let me just go to my Be Right Back for a second while I sort this out. Um, <clears throat> do that, and uh, this is probably a, a five minute video. You can enjoy it, I think. Uh, what was that? Okay, we have uh, 
The Night Before Metal Gear. If I can get my screen up. Bam! The Night Before Metal Gear. Read by uh, Cam Clark, who is the voice of Liquid Snake, and uh, also with a special guest to his uh, to his right. So I'm going to start playing this now, and uh, I'll grab some tea and uh, rejoin during this uh, during this video. Okay. Very liquid E, and then I thought I would do something else more. Ha <laughs> Look what I found! So. This is the night before Metal Gear. <clears throat> brother, brother. Twas the night before Christmas, all through Mother Base. Not a genome was stirring, not even Skullface. My weapons were hung by the bedside with care, in hopes that Roy Campbell soon would be there. Right, easy now. What? He was a pain in my... I understand. Sonny and Paz nestled snug in their beds. While visions of Fox died danced in their heads. Would you settle down? What? I'm just trying to perform an acting thing. It's fine. Liquid took off his glasses. I removed my bandana. And we unstrapped our guns. Until manana. When out on the landing pad there arose such a clatter. Miller ordered, Snake, get up. Go see what's the matter. See oh. how I did that? Go ahead. Yeah, you fooled me again. Continue. Away to the window, I flew like a flashbang. Tore open the blast shields, and I threw off that sash thing. Really? That's the, the best rhyme you have for that there? I mean, you're going to go with that. Is that it? Are you going with Cam Sember? <clears throat> the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow. Gave the luster of glow caps to the soldiers below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear? But a great big hind D. What's a gunship doing here? With a little bold driver to a wheelchair condemned. I knew in a moment it must be <gasps> the end. More rapid than wolf dogs, the boss fighters came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now sorrow, now fury. Break them out of their haven. On Mantis, on Python, Gerlukovich, Raven. To the top of the base, and hey, blow up that wall. Kill the guards, the twin snakes. What the hell? Kill them all. Really, David? What the hell? Kill them all? You mean like, it's well, Christmas, bro? Well, I know, but it's Metal Gear. I mean, it's a, it's a yeah, rough, but I mean, like, it's a dark world. Yeah, but I mean, I already died once in the, in the, in the show, so I was just thinking like, really have to well, came back me as again a, as an elbow body elbow <laughs> as an elbow so thank you for that merry christmas i wasn't my idea <gasps> just can we can we continue i mean i don't know can we, i don't know can I, we i really <clears throat> <clears throat> as cities before nuclear blast rings must fly when a blast from a shagahod mounts them up to the sky so up toward our quarters, laughing octopus flew. The end aimed his rifle, and Ocelot drew. <laughs> and then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, backup landing by catapult in the snow with small hooves. I drew my SOCOM. I was turning around, when on the roof appeared Meryl. Her team holding high ground. She was dressed all in crap. <laughs> Jungle printed on khaki. Yeah, well, still doesn't explain why she wed John Sasaki. No, really, Snake, get over it. You know, she, she is married. Why don't you I'm let it go already? Still bitter. Yes, let it go. Let it go. You let it yes. go. Yes. <sighs> Her team raised their guns. They brought quite a lot. And I said, don't think, rookie. Just take the damn shot. Gunfire! <laughs> Laugh, come on. <laughs> How I twinkled! Alright, that's enough. The blood red like a berry. Sniper will shot the pain. His bees swarming and scary. Mei Ling crept up silent. She rose out of the snow. And she capped Vulcan Raven with a fox die crossbow. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, she liked that. I liked it too. Psychomantis took flight, psychic, crazy, and cunning. 
when Ryden sliced him in half. Which he, ne he never saw coming. <laughs> Get that? Because he's yeah. psychic. Psych psychic, yeah. Coming at yeah. very good. Switched the controller ports. Yes, on. well, something like that. But the battle turned Amazing. bad. I took one in the belly. That's right. Paramedics staunched the wound with petroleum jelly. I was bleeding and shot. I might have soiled myself. <laughs> and I, I laughed when I saw him in spite of his health. It is so not funny. It was a little funny. Yeah, well, all right. But with a wink of Snake's eye, I twisted my head. And I knew when I saw him, <laughs> I had nothing to dread. Otacon spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. He unleashed the Mark II, turned it loose on those jerks, and laying a target aside their position, he blew them all up <laughs> with advanced nuclear munitions. That was, pretty good. <laughs> that was really sweet. <laughs> he sprung to his chopper, to Merrill's team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like a Nikita missile. But I heard him exclaim ere he flew out of sight. Merry Christmas to all! <laughs> so, from our twisted, genetically screwed up family to yours, we wish you a Merry Christmas, a nuclear battle tank free New Year, and, and a happy holidays, holidays to all. To all. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I love that so much. Yes. <laughs> Nice. Hey everybody. Groovy. I hope you all enjoyed that. That was uh, that was fucking amazing. <laughs> um, but we're still not finished. We're still not finished. I still have some uh, some jolly gifts in my sack. <laughs> because because we have Yes, we have Metal Gear, or Merry Gear Solid 2. Oh, baby. It's not over. <laughs> you thought we were done, bitch. Fitz was so confused. This is <laughs> Christmas Metal Gear. Okay, hold on. Oh, baby. Now, this one apparently is longer, so I'm not sure I'm going to finish this one. But we'll give it a good go. <clears throat> Uh, you can hear it all okay over there in Twitch land. Groovy. Okay, let's find out what's going to go down here. Outer Saven, three years after the Secret Santa incident, we had classified information that a new Santa had taken power. The whole thing was naughty. But our noses had been out in the cold too long. <laughs> the whole thing was naughty. <laughs> this game screen looks dope. Kids are back. <laughs> the North Pole, two years ago. Santa Moses Island. <laughs> oh my God. Is that too loud? That's loud for me. Grief. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Otacon's here. The yes. The stocking is busted. Ah, uh, what stocking, stocking? The stocking you had me wear. You said it was made with synthetic octopus fibers that would make me nearly invisible to the human eye. You didn't really, <laughs> Snake. That was just an ordinary. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. Well, Bit loud. I'm okay. just happy you managed to get to the sneak point without getting yourself hurt. I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. Oh, you mean that thing with Naomi? No, I'm talking about Cole. 
How am I supposed to have a Merry Christmas if that's all I get these days? Oh, well, was high on caffeine. It's been a while since anyone's had a truly Merry Christmas. What with the sudden surge of PNCs popping up around the world. PNCs? Pretty naughty children. Naughty doesn't even begin to describe them. They're more like hired mercenaries selling their services to the highest bidder. It used to be just a few rogue groups, but now it's become a global phenomenon. In fact, the world's seen the creation of at least a dozen PNCs in the past three years alone. So it all started three years ago. That's about the time I assassinated Big P... Uh, Saint Nick. That's right. It's likely that Saint Nick's death lies at the root of all of these problems. After all, he did play an important role in the SOC system. SOC system? The Spirit of Christmas system. A series of checks and balances created by the three wise men in order to maintain an equal balance of naughty and nice. And without a Saint Nick to keep the SOC system in check, there hasn't been an incentive to be nice. That's right, Snake. <laughs> We've dropped you off at Outer Savin Mall. Outer Savin? Yeah, you know, <laughs> the one mall in which shoppers will always have a place. Let me guess, I'm not just here to do some last minute Christmas shopping. Afraid not, Snake. I recently dug up some information on the US government's encrypted security channel about an extremist group that calls themselves the Ghosts of Christmas Past. The information I've uncovered shows that they've got their hands on Santa's hat. What's so dangerous about a hat? It's not so much the hat itself as it is the beliefs behind it. Whoever controls Santa's hat has full control over the SOC system. And whoever controls the SOC system has full control over the entire child population of the world. So what? The ghosts have threatened to use the hat to create a world of PNCs. A world of perpetual naughtiness! That's right. The ghosts are demanding the brain of Saint Nick. But it's anyone's guess guess as to what they're gonna do with it. It's gotta be something big. Something worth using the entire world's child population as a bargaining chip. That's why it's so big. Like... Metal Gear. No, Snake. There's absolutely no reason to jump to conclusions. <laughs> All we know is that the ghosts have arranged a meeting with the US president somewhere in that mall. Your mission is to find out what's going on, and to put a stop to the ghost's plan before the meeting takes place. Gotcha. For the duration of this mission, we'll be referring to each other by code names. What's wrong with my old code name? What? Old Snake? No. Solid Snake. No one's called you that in years. Yeah, but... Look, I'll let you decide for yourself. Would you rather be called Old Snake or Cold Snake? Uh, cold Snake, I guess. <laughs> Good. Remember, Snake, the ghosts have Santa's hat, which means that any children you run into during the mission are under their control. Do whatever it takes to stay out of the enemy's field of vision. Got it. Head to the elevator. I'll be giving you advice and instructions via codec. My frequency is 012.25. Good luck. Sweet. Okay. I think we have a radar this time. It's not in use at the moment. Hold on. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay, controls. Don't know what the controls are. Let's see. Hold it, Snake. It's foolish to run head first into every situation. By holding the shift key near a wall, you can hug up against it. Doing so will allow you to get a better view of what's up ahead. Can I hold the shift key near a kid? No, Snake. Stranger danger. Did you say nerd? Uh, oh. Oh shit. What did- what control was that? Um, wall hug. Shift. Oh, that's different to the last- the last one. Head inside Outer Saving Mall. <laughs> and control is action. Maybe there's a node. Oh. What? Oh! Oh, that's a- oh, f f I thought this was a wall. What the fuck? <clears throat> I am confusion. Oh! Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. I need to get used to these graphics. Graphisk. You can always access me via codec by pressing the C button. 
If you find yourself in a difficult situation, just give me a call. C. Okay. Oh no. Oh, it's icy. <laughs> I can't stop running. Okay. That kid ahead is guarding that landing pad pretty carefully. You should try distracting him by knocking on a nearby wall. To do that, hug a wall with the shift key and then press the control key to make a noise. Okay. Any nearby guards will come investigate the source of the noise. You can use this to open up a sneaking path. So I press <sighs> control while hugging a wall to knock on it. Got it. Say, Otacon. Yeah? Knock, knock. Oh, what was that noise? <laughs> It's <laughs> just my imagination. <laughs> That's a fantastic counter to a knock knock joke for Metal Gear fans. Knock knock. What was that noise? That would have stumped me. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Get in. Oh my god. I'm weak, that's gold. I'm gonna use that from now on. Me too. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. forgot to tell you about the Jolaton radar. The Jolaton radar. <laughs> the thing in the upper right hand corner of your screen. It's based on the same Jolaton technology that allows shoppers to easily find the exact locations of the presents they're looking for. But don't be fooled. There's a big difference between the existing Jolaton technology and the special Jolaton radar you're equipped with. What's the difference? Well, the subtle swapping of the Y in Jolaton to an I in your Jolaton radar trickles down to its functionality. Whereas the Jolliton radar could only detect Christmas presents, the Jolliton radar is capable of detecting presents of any kind. Including human presents. Bingo. I'm guessing that white dot is me. That's right. What about the red ones? Oh, Those I get it. Human presents. presents. Watch out and stay outside of that enemy's field of vision. That's the blue cone, right? Yep. Oh, By God. So you might have noticed the radar was unusable on the rooftop. Sometimes there's too much interference. In those cases, the Jolaton radar will be jammed. Anything I can do about that? Uh, afraid not. Huh. So you're saying this is a Jolaton radar that you made modifications to? Yep, a specially modified Jolaton radar. <laughs> I would have called it the Autoton radar, but you sure this isn't just <laughs> old Soliton radar? Because Mei Ling made no, that. No, not at all. But, uh, look, Snake, we don't have time for idle chit chat. Okay, <laughs> fire. We have a fucking radar. Amazing. Okay. Oh my goodness. Sweet. Okay, we got a camera. Can we hug the wall for the camera? A surveillance camera? This one game is well done. Oh, Loving this. Snake. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Right. Remember, these security cameras have a blind spot, so you can sneak beneath them without being seen. Remind me to slap a link in the chat um, later. Uh, fuck, fuck. Um, uh, where to get these games? Because you can download them for free. Hold up, Snake. Someone's conversation is being carried through the ventilation shafts. Have all the preparations been made? Yes. And the tadpoles have set up an ambush on the first floor. In case the meeting with the president goes sour. First floor? And where is... Second floor D basement. D our third. What? 
Are you afraid, Hill? I have to try and get that link right now. I don't really trust him, but I've got no choice but to believe him for now. Without belief, you'd never be able to inherit the title of Father Christmas. I suppose you're right. I'll be heading up to the 20th floor. I just need a little time to cool off. <sighs> you stay here and wait for the president to arrive. You hear that, Snake? The ghosts are meeting with the president on the first floor of the mall. You'll have to get down there to make sure things don't get hairy. Okay. I can't find this link again. Okay, I'll try and find it in a bit. Oh, shit. Take the elevator to the first floor. Beautiful. Surely I can just... Oh, 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 oh! Uh, why call me there? Oh, looks like the elevator's down. You'll have to get around the mall by foot. Okay, oh shit, shit! Uh, I'm off the screen! Ah, oh, I'm gonna be seeing shit, sorry. <laughs> I thought that dialogue was gonna go on longer. Lad sleeping here, so oh shit, don't touch him. Get through the fucking trees, snake. What the fuck? <laughs> snake. Snake. You gotta be pixel perfect. There we go. What's up here? I saw something up here. No radar here. Oh, this is the toilets. <laughs> Disposal it facility. You down one bit. In fact, it's kept me pretty regular. Oh, oh, snake, you're disgusting. <laughs> oh. Nice, yes. What is this? This looks like another door, but I can't get in there. <clears throat> it looks like you're in some kind of Halloween costume store. Maybe you can find something useful in that store's storage room. That's located in the northeast corner of the store. Okay. Pissing snake. <laughs> oh. Lucky for you that guard's asleep. Otherwise, he'd definitely come investigate the commotion. You can get past metal floors without making much noise if you slide along the walls beside them. Oh, I see. 
So like, right, I get you. I get you. What we got? D mask. Otacon, I found a reindeer mask. Ah, uh, Snake, is there something you have uh, to, to, to tell me? Aren't you usually the one to tell me how new items work? Well, it's just... Uh, I want you to know that Furdom has been around for a long time and... Furdom? Yeah, you know, furries. It's a... Um, uh, what? It's a fandom that revolves around anthropomorphic animals. Anime. It's always anime with you, isn't it, Otacon? <laughs> I'm a mercenary. I don't have time for any nerd hobbies. I'm nerd hobbies. Well, for a start, it's frighteningly realistic. Has it got a red light up nose? Nope. Darn. So it's no good as a flashlight either. Let me put this thing on. Maybe it'll give me some ideas. <laughs> Sna Snake? Snake? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Well, I could have sworn you were a mounted deer head. Huh. Mounted deer head, huh? You'll be able to avoid being seen as long as you're hugging a wall with that thing on. Just make sure not to move, or you'll give yourself away. Right. Also, if you bump into anyone, the jig is up. <coughs> so stay out of the enemy's path. That's a weird disguise. Huh? Oh. What was that? That sleeping guard must have woken up. Snake, you're surrounded. Use the deer head to sneak your way out of there. Okay. Deer head and I've got to hug a wall. Uh, how do I get my items? Oh my god. How do I get my items? Items. What? What? Uh... What button was the items? No! Did anybody catch the... <laughs> what button I'm supposed to press for the items? I'm trying everything. Oh! Ah, Z. Right. Uh, DMS, there we go. Right, Z. I don't remember that. Uh, 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 hug the wall, hug the wall. <coughs> nice. What a weird disguise idea. Is the game frozen now? Um, okay. Give me a second. I have, uh, I have the link to the website that hosts the games. Uh, the creator of the uh, creator of the game. Uh, this is his website. Uh, let me slap that in the chat there. Click that if you're interested in these games, and uh, yeah, you can, you, can, you can download them for free. <coughs> Pretty damn rad. Okay, so Z. to the first floor. Oh, ah. That's too daring. There's one video I watched, which was a parody of Metal Gear Solid uh, 1, that's funny, Snake gets on Liquid's nerves so bad. <laughs> These lasers. Don't take another step. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor's electrified. Who are you? Just a voice in your head. But you can call me Cindy Lou Who. Or Who. For sure. What? Cindy, a girl. Do I sound like a girl to you? It's hard to trust a voice over Kodak. 
I've already been fooled once by my twin brother. You'll need to find a way to disable the high voltage switch. You're using burst transmission. Are you nearby? As for the gas, <laughs> you don't want to be breathing any of that stuff. It'll knock you out cold. Wait, why is there a room filled with gas and electrical flooring inside a mall? <laughs> Good question. Like you and I. That makes sense. Hmm. <sighs> Who are you anyway? An old friend. Otacon, I need you to run a trace on the frequency of my last codec conversation. What codec conversation? That's right. He was using burst transmission. Burst transmission? Oh, there's no way to find the codec frequency of a conversation like that. Except... Except what? Well, have you tried looking on the back of the Blu-ray case? <laughs> I know, I know, it's a pain. But you need to find the Blu-ray case for Mary Gear Solid 2. You see the Blu-ray case labeled Mary Gear Solid 2? No. Huh? Oh, wait. We're on the PC. And the game is downloaded onto your hard drive. There is no Blu-ray Mary Gear Solid 2. Oh, please th Otacon. let there be a readme in the file. In the age we live in, huh, Snake? Digital distribution. Wonder what they'll think of next. So, no. No what? You can't run a trace on my last codec conversation? Afraid not. <sighs> oh, you should have put a readme file in the... in the... Um, in the game files. <laughs> okay. I've hacked the mall's central computer and activated the Muzak in the previous area. It should have woken up those sleeping guards. Oh, balls. Okay. <clears throat> Snake, that present looks pretty well guarded. Does come back for it later. Ah, uh, okay. Just my imagination. Oh, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh shit! No! Oh my god! I should knock. Hold on. Huh? Yeah. What was that? Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Got some more ice. Ice, ice, baby. Whoa, 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 I can't get up the stairs. There we go. <laughs> nice. Investigate the ladies' room? What the fuck? Nothing, nothing. Ah! Snake, what's going on? Son Snake. of a beasting. Snake? Snake! Okay. What do I do here? Huh. Oh, fa oh. <laughs> no. I'm trying to get up against that wall, but I, I can't, um... I need to be 
on the platform to be up against the wall. Oh, hold up. Hold up. What am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. I thought this was blocked off here. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 I got this. I got this. <clears throat> nice. Here we go. Investigate the ladies' room. Let's go. Let's go. Feels like a cool Pokemon game with added snake. It does really, doesn't it? Doesn't it? it feels like it's uh yeah, it looks looks very kind of GBA Pokemon-ish. This is really good. I, I'm very surprised. Maybe he didn't hear me. Guess I'll have to go in there and wake him up. What? What if I get cooties? Oh, what? Oh, we got a gift here. And cane. What the hell am I supposed to do with a candy cane? That's no ordinary candy cane. Read the wrapper. <coughs> Nova cane. That's right. Nova That's cane. Nova brand candy cane. It's made with an especially strong child quieting corn syrup. <laughs> CQC. 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 CQC is an anesthetic capable of putting a child to sleep. Ever notice how doctors will give a kid a lollipop after a shot? Sure. Those lollipops are laced with a small dose of CQC. They're used to numb the pain, and to keep the kids quiet. The dosage of CQC in that Novocaine is much, much higher. So you're telling me I could put a kid to sleep with this thing? That's right. Sneak up right behind an enemy and press the control key to knock him out. The anesthetic will wear off after a couple of seconds, so be sure to be out of the area before the kid wakes up. Got it. One last thing. What is it? Candy canes go in the mouth, not through the windpipe. You got that? Right. Okay. Let's control after sneaking up behind a child to administer. Oh my god, this is it's just as bad as the first fucking game. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, right, so we have a we have a means to put kids to sleep. Nice. Nice, now I'm on a list. Great. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Ah, oh, fucking hell.
Still doesn't really explain what I do here. Do, 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 do. Hmm. You know what? Uh, I'm getting Metal Gear Acid 2 vibes. I've never played uh, Metal Gear Acid. Can I just run across? I can't run across, can I? Oh, man. I'll try. Nope. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There was a gift um, somewhere. Oh, shit. Hold on. Z, 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 Z. There was a gift I couldn't get, wasn't there? Maybe I can get that now with the Novocaine. Oh, ah, oh, the camera saw me bollocks. This is like a turn-based card game RPG that came out for the PSP. I do have, uh, I might have one or both of them on the PSP. I've never played them. Is that worth streaming, do you think? Oh, shit. Uh, how did you not see me? Close. Too fucking close. Now hold on. Let's just knock this. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. woke up what's going on snake snake okay maybe snake. i can't get that now maybe i can't get that now let's go back i'm assuming i can't just knock oh shit ah uh. Any ideas? I'm not quite sure. Maybe, okay, hold on. Have you tried to not get caught? That's a good idea, Fitz. I'll try that. Let me try... Oh, that's not going to work, though, is it? Oh, 
Oh, oh fuck! Ah! He's over here. I knocked by mistake. I am baffled. Once again. <clears throat> Hold on, maybe I can call the codec and see what Alticon says. Snake, I forgot to mention that I noticed you sound a bit, uh, different. More like you did when I first met you. You sound a lot healthier than you did in MGS4. Uh, I mean, in the Middle East. Yeah, the Middle East is a dusty place. Sand really does a number on your vocal cords. Whatever you say, Snake. Okay, can I get a hint though? <laughs> you sure it isn't because you quit? Quit what? Well, you know, these things will kill you. Well... <laughs> What I'm trying to say is that maybe your voice is returning to normal because you've stopped smoking. Look, Otacon, we all know the only side effects of smoking are the ability to see infrared lasers and a really slow drain of health. Nothing permanent or irreversible, so long as you've got a few rations handy. But Snake, the Surgeon General... And how else was I supposed to know which way the wind was blowing atop that building in Zanzibar land? What? Oh, look, forget I asked. <laughs> say... Otacon, do you believe in Santa Oh my god. I believe in pure logic and science. <clears throat> There's absolutely no way anyone could ever deliver that many gifts in one night. Yeah, but what about Vamp? There's no way any man could survive a shot to the head. Nanomachines. Liquid's arm, possessing Ocelot. Nanomachines. How do I survive the freezing weather at Shadow Moses? Nanomachines. <laughs> to say Santa doesn't have some sort of nanomachines helping him deliver presents. Get serious, Snake. This isn't time for make-believe. <laughs> nanomachines. Okay. I am baffled here. I'm honestly baffled. So I can't I can't go up here because he's gonna he's gonna see me. Walking along that metal grid there is gonna draw everybody's attention. How the fuck? Let me just try knocking him out right in the front of his face. Oh, what? What? No way. No fucking way. Well, what now then? Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> What the fuck happened there? Madness. Okay. Well, at least we're past that. White blood. <sighs> the last time I saw that White yeah. blood? Police not. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure. Oh no. A gang of dead bastards. Investigate the source of the blood. Phrase. I wasn't talking about the weather, old man. Who are you? As spring gives way to winter. Who the so fuck is this Klondike? Past, give way to the present. <gasps> it is, a present is it a milkman? With ice. For revenge is a glass best served cold. Milk? That's right, Snake. I am the ghost of Christmas present, and delivering milk is my fortified forte. <laughs> ah, such cold taste, such smooth texture. These are the short-lived features of milk of the freshest quality. Milk bar! <laughs> Yet so short-lived was my delivery. The temporary joy my milk provided 
could never compare to the permanent, <laughs> the so much phrasing of a Christmas gift well received. Is it really milk? My gifts could only be appreciated in the present. Uh, milk would have to be consumed by its best buy date. My gift was a ticking time bomb, innocuous at one moment, yet devastating the next. For many years, I faced intolerance, but I've got no time to dwell in the past. Snake, today is your best buy date, and let me make it milky clear that you shall be bested by this battle's end. <laughs> okay, we got a boss fight. Oh shit. Uh, the only weapon I have is the Novocaine. Which I can't use. Hold on. Otacon, give me tips. Otacon, he's wearing a fox stealth suit. Hmm, you're right. And it looks like it's been specially modified to keep his body cool. I wonder why that is. Oh, fuck. Ah. Son of a bitch. Okay. Otacon, the enemy. His blood is white. The last time I've seen that was... That's not white blood, Snake. That's milk. Milk? You'd better be careful, Snake. An enemy that bleeds out milk is sure to have extremely strong bones. Your weapons will be ineffective Strong here. bones. Well, what do I do then? There's nothing here. Is a deer mask and Novocaine. Um, yeah, please tell me what to do. <laughs> the ghost is made of milk. Milk's gotta have a weakness. Lactose intolerance. No, Snake. Try to get <laughs> lactose intolerance in reverse. <laughs> How did you? What? Lactose intolerance in reverse. I I don't get it. Hold on. Where's my Novocaine? Can I can I hit it back at him? No. Okay. I don't know. I really don't know. Look, Snake, we've got to hurry before the situation gets real sour. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, what did I press? No, 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 no. Well, there's nothing. Oh, man. Stumped. I've got it. Again. I know how to defeat him. But are you sure you want me to uh <laughs> spoil it? Yes. Try setting the clock on your computer ahead a week or two. I'll piss off. What the fuck? <laughs> I've got it. I know how to defeat him. But are you sure you want me to uh <laughs> spoil it? Try setting the clock on your computer ahead of- Can I even do that? A week or two. Hold on. Really? I've got to mess with the bloody- Oh my god. This is all internet now, isn't it? Is it not? <laughs> um... 
Hold on. Hold on a moment. This is yeah, I know. This is wild. I've got it. I know how to defeat him. But are you sure you want me to uh <laughs> spoil it? Try wait, setting wait, wait, the wait, clock wait. on your computer Time ahead language. Of a week or two. Uh set the time automatically off. Uh how do I change the time? Change it manually, yes. Okay, week or two. Let's go <laughs> to I've got it! I know how to defeat him! But are you sure you want me to, uh... January 2023. Try setting the clock on your computer ahead a week or two. 5th of January. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it actually worked. What the fuck? Refrigeration of your cooling system kept the milk in your veins fresh for that long. I see your mental skills. Haven't thought... That's wild. Just like cold times. Do I know you? Say, we're not snow different, you and I. The children of a colder generation. What do you mean? Who are you? My father. My father was one of the three wise men who created the SOC system. He was well on his way to inherit the title of Father Christmas. When in a freak accident at San Geronimo, his body literally burned itself up. That special blue fox sneaking suit. You must be Python's kid. Please, Snake. Father had a name. Python was just a code name given to him by Fox. Those who truly loved him knew him by his birth name, Frosty Frost. Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> and that would make you Jack Frost, his son. This suit, it was the only thing they could recover off of my father's melted remains. A cooling suit filled with liquid nitrogen. That explains the sub-zero temperatures of your milk bombs. It was my father's legacy. And that which allowed me to become the world's greatest milkman. <laughs> delivering the coldest, freshest milk in even the hottest of temperatures. However, not even the liquid nitrogen from my suit cooled have saved my milk. From cooled have saved my milk. Come on. Of human ignorance. Human ignorance. Leave it by the door, <sighs> they say. As if such a thing were even conceivable. My milk. That which I have literally poured my life into. To sit out in the sun. Beads of sweat forming on its glassy container. Curdling ever closer to its date of expiration. My gift to the world was a gift of the present. A transient gift that could neither be enjoyed in the past nor the future. I longed to find a way to do it faster, to deliver it fresher. I needed a way to deliver my milk directly into any house from anywhere in the world. I needed Mary Gear. Mary oh Gear. My God. Yes, Mary Gear. A bipedal sleigh with the ability to launch gifts from any location. <laughs> it the was fuck? the three wise men's failsafe. A means to keep Christmas alive. Should all three of the wise men pass on, but it could only be activated with the entry of three secret passcodes. One from each of the three wise men. You see, the members of the three wise men were part of an agreement, a pact that bound each of them to enter their secret passcodes on their deathbeds. It was a way of ensuring Christmas would go on. 
A pact oh my that God. would ensure the activation of the this dialogue goes on the right time. My father, Frosty, upheld his part of the agreement and entrusted his passcode to me. Between the three ghosts of Christmas past, we had two passwords. We needed just one more. So that's why the ghosts are demanding Nick's brain. Yes. Your unexpected assassination of Saint Nick in the secret Santa incident prevented Santa from entering the third and final passcode. We had planned to obtain St. Nick's brain and extract the final passcode, <laughs> giving us access to the merry gear. But how would this help you deliver your milk? Snake, you aren't thinking outside of the box. Or rather, perhaps that is exactly what you are doing. What do you mean, think, Snake? If the Merry Gear is only capable of launching gift boxes. Put the milk in a gift box. Yes. The greatest gift of all. <laughs> Snake, it was only my dream to make the world a happier place through milk. <laughs> it seems that your dreams have expired. And I, along with them. But don't cry. I'll be back again someday. <laughs> Fantastic. I guess there's no use crying over spilled milk. <laughs> the fuck? Oh my goodness. Wild. I like how they did a fourth wall break. Uh, they're just like a Metal Gear Solid uh, 1. Like the Psycho Mantis fight. Yeah. That was crazy. I don't even know how you would implement that. Okay, well, uh, Jack Frost is down. That's one down, Snake. Just two more to go. Okay. If I remember correctly, one of the ghosts is on the first floor. Continue making your way down there. Hmm. Nice. Naomi's hunting supplies, camo 50% off. Nice. The revolving omelette. <laughs> Goodness. Exotic survival cuisine. <laughs> okay. Oh, ah, oh, what? A weird patrol. I'm loving this. Just up ahead is Galloway Gardens, one of Outer Savin's most popular non shopping attractions. It's a large thermoplastic structure that emulates a natural biome. 
inspired by the Eden Project in the UK. But I've been there. Actually, it's slightly less ugly. It perfectly replicates a subtropical coniferous forest biome, which allows them to grow Christmas trees right inside the mall, significantly cutting the carbon footprint involved in transportation. Okay. Uh, no, oh, wrong button. Uh, day mask. Ah, get in there, get in there. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, we're boss in this game. Snake, there should be another storage area nearby. Keep your eyes peeled. Be on the lookout for it. Okay. Give me a moment. I'm just going to take a quick uh, loo break and I'll leave you with this lovely uh, Metal Gear music. I'll be back in uh, just a couple minutes. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Get back to business. Oh, baby. Okay, uh, check the storage room. Oh, baby. Oh, the, the, les, les enfants habiles. <laughs> okay. Zone of fenders. <laughs> Inc 
incredible. Oh. Monica, I'm surrounded. Snake, please respond. Snake? Snake! Uh, geez, do you do that every time I get caught? Well, <laughs> yeah. How'd you manage to escape alarm? Turns out these kids are mannequins. Mannequins? Oh, that's right. You're in a children's clothing store. Still, you'll want to be extra careful there. That's the perfect place to set up an ambush. Uh, if only your radar wasn't jammed, you'd be able to avoid the real guards. Maybe you should try to do something about that and come back later. Okay. I've opened up the door to the revolting Armalot. Oh, yes. You might find something useful in there. Oh, I have to go back now. Fuck. Revolting up I'm a lot. <laughs> I'm a lot. <laughs> oh, sh ah, didn't see that. Boom, boom, boom. When do I get a gun? Fuck am I gonna get past this lad now? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me try knocking. There we go. C for the Novocaine. Come on! Sean Beach. Oh, no, 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 no! Bollocks. Thought I was far enough away. The Novocaine. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Is there any way I can just sneak past? Him out. Oh my goodness. What's going on? That's okay, Snake? that's awkward. Snake! That is very awkward. Um He's over here. Nope. Snake, what's going on? Snake? Snake? Snake! 
imagination. Ah, there we go. Finally, Jesus. Omelet, here we go. <laughs> Six buffets. More than enough to feel anything that moves. <laughs> I love the fork gun. Welcome. Oh, I hope I hope we find somebody who does the spinny guns. Please. The head chef of uh, re revolting omelet. Come on. Snake. Snake. Cheap. See his corner vision. All right, I might have to be a bit more patient. Patience, lads. Toast. Ew, toast acquired. Toast. Yeah. Moldy toast. toast. It looks like it's been sitting here for years. Oh, a toast of Christmas past. Looks like the mold's got a slight glow to it. Must be full of power. Snake, you're not considering... I, you're not gonna eat that thing, are you? All this sneaking around's got me awfully hungry. Oh, this can't be safe. Uh, don't worry about it. A bit of strawberry jam just to mask the mold and... Not uh, Otacon. What's happening to the jam? Wow, it looks like the mold is breaking that jam down. It's almost completely disappeared. Great. So now I've got a jam-eating mold. What use have I got for that? Well, it's a stretch, but but maybe it could break down radar jam too. Try taking <laughs> it out in an area where the Jolaton radar reads, No use. <laughs> what? Okay, let's try it. It works! <laughs> Use the toast to get to the storage room. Use the toast. <laughs> oh, I see for the mannequin. Right, yeah. The revolting omelette. I love that. That's amazing. Gads are gone from this area. Oh my god, the, the gads have gone all together. What's going on? Oh, all the kids are gone. 
Something must be going on. Snake, you'd better hurry. Will do. Oh shit. Ah, oh, I knew that was going to happen. What's going on? Snake? Snake? Snake! Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to finish this today. Uh, I'm not sure I could try and finish it uh, at the end of the week. Uh, there won't be a stream tomorrow. I'm going to give it a rest. But... <laughs> I don't know. If people want it, I'll finish this game uh, on Friday, maybe. But this has been fun. This has been very fun. Use the toast. Use that toast. Okay, toast equipped. Nice. Oh. I think we have some lasers. So trying to use the items. What we got now? Box NA. Not a god. Help. Someone say toast. It, snake? It's Bloody a love toast. I can't see. I can't breathe. And everything smells like cardboard. Wait, Snake, are you inside of a box? Snake. You can't go crawling into every cardboard box you see. Not all of them have hand holes. I don't need hand holes. What I need are air holes. Snake, you do realize that the holes on cardboard boxes are used to make them easier to lift, don't you? And I suppose the air that flows through those holes is just a convenient side effect. Or have I been imagining that too? Look, there are some things you can only learn through first-hand sneaking experience. And there are some things you could only learn by clicking through random articles on Sneakypedia. Sneakypedia? Well, are you familiar with the idea of Sokoku? I'm not watching another one of those again. No, Snake. This has nothing <laughs> to do with my Japanese animes. Sokoku, or locked country, refers to Japan's old foreign relations policy. Under Sokoku... No Japanese were allowed to leave the country, and at the same time, no foreigners were allowed into the country. Remarkably, it marked one of the longest periods of peace in Japanese history. Oh, brother. I can see he's been reading the sneaky page on Japan again. <laughs> By seating yourself in a cardboard box without air holes, you'll be isolating yourself from the outside. That includes all of the good, but also all of the bad. Huh. I'll still be able to use the box as a stealth device, though, right? That's right. As long as you're standing still, you'll be disguised to look just like an ordinary cardboard box. Be careful, though. Don't let any enemies get too close, or your disguise will be ineffective. Stay out of the enemy's path. Got it. Be careful not to forget to unequip the box when it's not in use. Why? To breathe. Oh, right. Okay. So I can't breathe in the box. Uh-oh. That looks like you've got company. Oh shit. Watch out, Snake. That's the Tengu Advanced Defense Patrol Operations Lightning Espionage Unit. That's a mouthful. Most people just call them the Tadpoles. The Tadpoles are a highly specialized PNC group, notorious for their lightning quick reflexes and unparalleled dexterity. Funny, they look just like little girls to me. Well, they are little girls. Ballerinas, to be precise. Ever been to a children's ballet recital, Snake? Not that I can remember. Believe me, these kids would give you an unforgettable performance of the Nutcracker, so you'd better not let them get too close. The tadpoles wear special Tad Pro stealth suits, made from a synthetic semi-liquid material called Tad Polyester. That must be what gives them their slimy appearance. The Tad Polyester acts as a lubricating agent, eliminating almost all friction between the joints. This allows for total fluidity in motion. The lubrication also prevents anyone from getting a firm grip on its surface. So no CQC? Afraid not. What about distraction? Oh no. Like a ballet dance, every tadpole's position is choreographed by a central controlling entity called the Level Designer. These instructions are then communicated to each individual tadpole via nanomachines. 
Because of the complexity and intricacy of these instructions, to miss a mark could spell disaster for the rest of the team. That's why tadpoles are injected with a blocker enzyme that prevents them from straying from the level designer's plan. So distractions are out of the question. I'd say your best bet is to sneak out of there using your cardboard box. Try to anticipate the tadpoles' movements and avoid being caught in their path. With a little luck, you should be able to find a hole in their patrol path and sneak your way out. Good luck. What the fuck? Uh, okay. So quit my... Box. Uh... Oh, my health is dropping though. Ah, shite. What's going on? Okay. Snake? This is weird. Snake! He's gotta be here somewhere. Okay, let me go... Here. Yes. Hide in here. Yes. Nice. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I need the toast now, don't I? Equip the toast. Lovely. Snake, looks like the box might be useful here. Okay, all right. Well, I'll go. Let's just check the elevator. Let's check the elevator first. Oh shit. Oh. Otacon, there's a sleeping kid in here with a note taped to his back. What's it say? Now I have a polar gun. Ho ho ho. Huh. Looks like this elevator's no good either. I knock him out and take his gun. No, okay, leave him alone then. Sweet. <laughs> There's an elevator to the first floor just east of here. Keep on heading down that path. Oh, fu oh fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, D mask. Ah. Ah. Um. Oh. He's over here. Ah. <laughs> Son of a Snake. bitch. Oh, quick, 
quick, quick, quick, quick. Nice. There's a oh, there's a present up there. Let me get that motherfucker. Nice box A. Sweet. You found the cardboard box A. Who knew that the A stood for air hole? Well, that doesn't make sense <laughs> at all, Snake. And anyways, you could breathe just fine in cardboard box B too. Yeah, because the B stands for breathing hole. <laughs> yeah. Snake, that cardboard box has air holes, so you'll be able to sneak around in it without having to take it off to breathe. Okay. Nice one. Right, we're flying. Uh, okay, let's try this box then. Box, uh, box A. Go oh, oh f What's going on? Snake, snake, snake! Nice. Oh my god. Oh no. Ah. Ah. Snake, what's going on? Snake, snake, snake. to the first floor. Can I do anything here? Oh shit. Uh, uh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, the deer thing. It's not going to work, is it? Over here. <sighs> that almost worked. That was so close to working. Fuck! Ah, sh ah, bollocks. I ruined it. I ruined it. I ruined it. Oh my god, it's last Christmas. Listen to it. That was the melody for last Christmas. Genius, absolutely. <laughs> the perfect mesh of uh, Metal Gear and Crimbo. Uh, what the fuck do I do here? Um... 
I th never thought I would love I love a Christmas Metal Gear mashup. <laughs> They've done it so well. What the fuck do I do here? I can't. Oh, he's going to call me and tell me, isn't he? I've left you a little gift around there. Uh, Brother. You have to leave it in such a metallically floored area. Yeah. What's wrong? I thought you might appreciate a little help. You can find something to help you get past that metal floor if you go back to the roof of Outer Savin. Oh, I've got to go back again. Why didn't you tell me before? I'm a little helper, not a big one. <laughs> Fuck. Tactics to stretch the game. That's what this is. Okay. There it is. Last Christmas. Very next day. Save me from tears. <laughs> uh, cowboy box. haunting. Poor old George. <laughs> uh, fuck, we really gotta go back. They really need to make us go back. Sons of bitches. Deserve better. <laughs> I, I think it's great. I don't know what y'all talking about? Really. Watch this be a really fucking lame item now, like a... Well, you can't get any more lame than a piece of toast. Really. But. <laughs> Have you seen this, Steve? You'll get a kick out of this. The revolting omelette. Glorious. Don't have a gun. Is 
this is giving off uh, Shinra building vibes. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow, we're really going back. Back past the first boss. What the fuck? How to save in Big Boss's dream. <laughs> Oh, it's this bloody room again. Okay, well, I can... I should be able to sneak this one. I hope. Run, run, run! run. I think we're literally going back to the beginning of the game. You have to be pulling my chain. Oh, 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 no, no. What's going on? Snake, snake, snake. When did it switch to uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 stuff? Still the same game. No, this is Metal Gear uh, Solid 2. <laughs> we finished the first one. Uh, this is much longer, apparently. And uh, I'm sure you missed the uh, the Be Right Back video as well. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, fucking Cam... What's his name? The Liquid uh, voice actor. I've forgotten his name. Cam something. And uh, David Hater reading uh, The Night Before Metal Gear. If you've not seen that, go back and watch that. It's fantastic. Can I get this item yet? I don't think I can get that. Oh shit! Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Early shifts this week. Ah, no, no worries, but man. your Metal Gear Solid 4 reactions. <laughs> How do you rate that on the, on the uh, scale of best Metal Gear games, Steve? there now. Oh, come off it. Come on. <laughs> uh, it's pure fan service. Uh, hard to rate it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, definitely play it before Peace Walker. Keep the numbered entry plays going. But if Peace Walker happens right after MGS3, it would make more sense to do Peace Walker first. You just want me to play MGS4, I know. I'll get there, Steve. Find a uh, helpful item on the roof. This is the roof. Uh, we're going to use the toast. <laughs> uh, 
Um, knock. Uh, box. Sure, but you'll be uh, going to PSP controls. It'll drive you mad. Is it not different for the HD remaster version? Oh, 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 Stocking, stocking again. Uh, is that what this is? This was supposed to help me get past metal floors, but it's all ruined because of the eye holes I made to wear it over my head. Wait, you wore the stocking, stocking over your head? Well, yeah. I mean, I figured I was supposed to wear it like a balaclava. All you've got now is a pretty holy sock. Yeah, but this was supposed to help me walk over metal floors without making any noise. Surely we could work backwards and figure out how we'd do such a thing. Oh, I get it. Like six degrees of separation. Right. So this is a holy sock. What are some other holy things you know? Hmm. Foxholes, air holes. Wormholes, plot holes. Oh, this is no good. Take a look at your other items. Uh, maybe there's a, a running theme going on. Well, a lot of my items are Christmassy. Great. So what are some Christmas things that are holy? Well, there's that song. How's it go? Something about a holy night. That's it, Snake! <laughs> silent night, holy night! Holy sock, silent sock! Oh, brother. <laughs> Fuck so off. Much. As long as you have the holy sock equipped, you'll be able to walk over metal floors without making any noise. Also, the extra traction should let you walk on ice without slipping around. Okay. Holy sock. Oh my goodness. Um, and just for 2008. Well, I will play whichever one's first, then. Whichever one was released first. Um, sock equipped. Nice. But there's going to be uh, other games before that. It's going to be in the new year. Metal Gear Solid won't be in the next game. I'm going to give it a break. <laughs> As much as I love it, it's, uh, yeah, I've played a lot of Metal Gear this month. Uh... Let me drop the, the link in the chat again to uh, where you can get these games. These Merry, merry Gear games. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Get out of his way first. So if you fancy trying these uh, these games out, uh, there is the link to the creator's uh, website. Trying to sneak around. Gotcha. 
Nice. He's revised his uh, sneaking pattern. <laughs> uh, box might help. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Sock. Okay, I'm probably gonna find out what this item is here. here. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> without getting caught, hopefully. And then I'm probably gonna uh, leave it there. I'm not sure whether to finish this um, on Friday, maybe. I'll just play this for fun, but uh, we'll, we'll see. I am enjoying this. <laughs> Genuinely, a pretty good game. Holid eye. eye. It's a special eyepiece that's powered by memories of Christmas's past. Snake, can you remember your fondest Christmas memories? Not really. All of my Christmases have been pretty terrible. Last year, all I got was coal. Before that, I accidentally assassinated Saint Nick. Oh, that's right. With Saint Nick out of the picture, the Christmas season quickly grew out of favor. Christmas spending stopped almost entirely which put the global economy in a bit of a bind. That's when two scientists published their work on Holistic Delusion, or Holodel, a way of fooling the mind into seeing an idealized version of the past by filtering out the sad blues and sickly greens of the visual field, but compensating with an amplified red component. Rose-tinted glasses, huh? Exactly. The Holid Eye is a consumer product using the Holodel technology. Great, but how's this gonna help with the mission? Well, Snake, the hollow die is powered by Christmas memories, and the compensating effect is much stronger on people with particularly sad Christmas experiences. Seeing as you're single-handedly responsible for ending Christmas cheer all around the world, I'm guessing your Christmas memories are unspeakably haunting, soul-crushing even. Well, when you put it that way, it's this game is very well made. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, did I? Oh man. I think I could just cancel out that thing by accident. Okay, well, I'm, I've got to, I've got to leave now. <laughs> I've got work in half an hour. So, thank you very much, everybody, for for uh, joining me today on this festive uh, little jauntiness. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can save. Can I save? So if I can save it, I might finish it on Friday. Uh. Snake, do you know what it means to break the fourth wall? I think I remember you telling me about this. It had something to do with that wall in Shadow Moses that sounded a bit different when I tapped on it. It sounded a bit more hollow. That's when I broke the fourth wall. With some plastic explosives. I'm pretty sure Revolver Ocelot was just a few rooms further. But why are we talking about Metal Gear Solid 1? That uh, is saving, automatically, I think. All, snake. Nice. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that there. Thank you very much for joining me. <laughs> I hope you don't have to start all over again. No, I don't think so. There are save files in the folder, so uh, it should be good. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, like I say, I'll probably be back on Friday. I'm going to take a... Uh, I've got some stuff to do tomorrow, so... Uh, probably Friday. And then we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to raid out now to... Um, some Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Uh, till next time, being fun. Thank you very much. I'm going to raid out to some fella who's playing uh, Metal Gear 2. Sons of Liberty. Sons of bitches. So yeah, cheers. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah, I'm Jordan. There we go. There he is. Go say hello. Hope everybody has, uh, has a great rest of their day. And uh, yeah, pop back Friday. Come say hello. And we'll see what we're going to do Friday. Awesome. Cheers, lads. Peace.